President Professor Yemi Oshibajo is received by the over 34,000 internally displaced persons at the Abagana IDP camp. A sober mood plays out when children of school age welcome him to the camp with a cry for a safe return to their homes. This is echoed by a coalition of civil society organizations who identify some of the humanitarian situations. On behalf of all the IDPs, particularly the children and women who are sleeping outside in the rain, we plead on behalf of the civil society that you quickly pronounce this state uh, challenge as a humanitarian challenge. We want the vice president to help us and stop the killing and help us provide enough security in our villages so that we can go back. The Benue state governor appeals to the federal government to double the number of troops deployed to end the attacks on farming communities. We did request, as people of Benue say, that we wanted an operation that would be more forceful against the mercenaries from Libya, against the Boko Haram, against the Aziz against the militia herdsmen who were killing and destroying our settlement. And uh, today, we are happy that they are here. And we believe that more will be added with your visit today so that these IDPs can go back to their various homes. At the Daudu IDP camp, the vice president directs NEMA to immediately put up tents to address the problem of inadequate shelter, promising to oversee the rehabilitation of the IDPs. One of those in front of the campaign to end the killing alleges there is state-backed violence against the Benue people. The Vice President believes the only way to prove that there is no plot against the people of Benway is for the federal government to secure the villages and restore farmlands to their owners. As part of the work of the Food Security Council, which the President constituted, he has approved some money for the rebuilding of homes and also for the restoration of farms. As citizens of this country, you have we, we, as government, have a duty to make sure that you are secure, that we provide you with security, and where your homes have been destroyed, we we'll rebuild those homes. Where you have lost farmlands, we we'll restore those farmlands. And it is, as I said, it's our duty to do so, and we will do so. The meeting ends with renewed hope from the Vice President, who pledges to personally supervise the resettlement program and ensure adequate security posts resettlement exercise to the affected communities.